the method 4. We are going to use the previous techniques. This is also only a simple technique. This is not a great method. Let us see what we are going to do. We will call it method 4 half one number and double the other number. So, they balance each other. So, when the numbers are not convenient, this will be very handy and very convenient. See this example 18 into 4. Now, your mind will say the first method multiply from left is correct 40, 32, 72. But our idea is we must learn as many methods as possible. You see, we have legs, cycle, scooter, car, plane, train. We don't say I have legs, I don't want anything else. So, here also you know the method, but there are other techniques which may be faster in different situations. So, look at this different method. This 18 into 4, normally children who know tables also may not know 18 tables these days. So, one child in one of this workshop suggested half the 18, 9, double the 4, 8, 9 into 8, 72. An interesting method. 9 into 8, 72. I have half the larger number and double the smaller number, I was able to do that. Let us take a couple of more examples. Suppose 15 into 18. Here 15 is a good number, 5 ending number is a good number because if you double it, it becomes a 0 ending number. So, if I double 15, what do I get? 30, which is easy for calculation. Because 30 means you do only by 3, you multiply by 3 and put a 0. So, it is simple mental work. So, 18, if you half it, it is 9. Now, look at this, 9 threes, 27, put a 0, that is the answer. You can do all this mentally, 270. I shall repeat once more. 15, double it, 30. 18 half it 9. So, the answer is 9 3 is 27. So, 270. Sir, here it is I am getting an odd number. Do not bother. If you can do it, do use this method. If you cannot use it, try some other method. We are learning many methods. So, if this road is blocked, we are going to try another road. So, we are learning many methods. Wherever they are possible, you use them. So, we can do such sums very fast now. So, 35 into 48. 35 is a 5 ending number, it is a good number for doubling. So, you double it, it becomes 70, it is only 7 and this is 24. Now, you can use the first method, multiply 24 by 7 from left. 7 2s, 140, 7 4s, 28. 140 plus 28, 168, add the 0, finished, it is easy. All this can be done mentally, I am writing to show you, explain to you, but you can write it mentally, you can do these things and there are many, many approaches. I can go one, one more thing now, suppose 25 into 64, here is an interesting sum. I can bring it in another method also, but now look at this, 25 can be doubled, it becomes 50. This is half 32, but either you can multiply like this or double 50 is a very good number, so it becomes 100, you do not even write it. So, this becomes 16, so 1600 is the answer, it is pretty fast. Okay. So, as I said, I am showing you the techniques. There are many examples, exercise you practice from the book. We will go to the next method now. Now, the next method, a simple method is method 5. What is the line standing for? To represent any number. So, the method is multiply any number by 11. It is one of the easiest methods.